Hello friends, welcome to Tech Electric. Myself Piyush and today's topic of our video is High Rupturing Capacity Fuse and its Characteristics. So let's get started. HRC Fuse The full form of HRC Fuse is High Rupturing Capacity Fuse. In HRC Fuse, Fuse element is enclosed in a totally enclosed container and is provided with metal contacts on both the sides. These fuses are further classified as link type and D type as shown in figure A and B respectively. The link type fuse are further classified in two types. First is knife blade type and second bolted type. In this video, we will take a brief look in construction and working of link type HRC fuse. Construction and working of HRC fuse. Firstly, we will take a look at construction of HRC fuse. HRC fuse consists of outer element, fuse element, brass end plate, filling powder, cartridge and fuse link contact. HRC fuse outer body is generally made up of a ceramic material having a good mechanical strength. The fuse elements are connected to the end caps generally made up of copper or brass inside the body. The end contacts are welded to the fuse link contacts. An indicating device is provided to distinguish the blown fuse. The space between the fuse element and the cartridge body is filled with powder quartz which acts as an arc extinguishing agent. Here the quartz powder avoids the oxidation of silver element. The fuse element is of silver or copper with a special shape. Now we will take a look at working of HRC fuse. Under normal working condition, the fuse element is at a temperature below its melting point. Therefore, it carries the normal current without overheating. But when fault occurs, the current increases and the heat so produced is sufficient to melt this fuse element. The vaporized fuse element chemically reacts with the filling powder and results in the formation of a high resistance substance that help in quenching the arc. That's how HRC cartridge fuse actually works. Characteristics of HRC fuse Firstly, we will take a look at I2T characteristics. Curse drawn for total ampere squared second and pre-arcing ampere squared second against the fusing current are shown in the figure. These characteristics help to determine maximum amount of energy the fuse will pass to the appliance under protection. Also, such characteristics is useful for explaining the cutoff characteristics. Secondly, I will explain cutoff current characteristics. When an HRC fuse interrupts a heavy fault current, it exhibits an ability to limit the short circuit current. This ability is known as cutoff, which is shown in cutoff current characteristics. The prospective current shown in the upper curve is defined as the value of current which would flow through the fuse immediately after the short circuit occur in a network that is shown by this point where the fault actually occurs. Next is current zero position. Current zero is the time when arc is extinguished and arc reaches zero current value. There are two time periods shown in the lower figure named as pre-arcing time and arcing time. Pre-arcing time is defined as the time period between the occurrence of fault and the instant at which the fuse wire gets melted. Second is the arcing time. It is the time between the instant of arc initiated to the instant of arc getting extinguished. This happens due to the breaking of fuse wire which creates arcing between both melted tips of fuse. This is all about cutoff current characteristics of HRC fuse. Advantages of HRC fuse Following and listed are some of the advantages of HRC fuse. HRC fuse clears high as well as low fault currents. 
it has high speed operation it provides reliable discrimination it requires less maintenance it is cheaper than other circuit interrupting devices with same rating i hope that this video help you enhance your knowledge regarding hrc fuse that's it for today's session if you like the video hit the like button and share the video with your friends do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification of more such videos thank you